she's not happy today. What's up, guys? It's Saturday. The belugas dropped this morning, and wifey's not happy with me at all. Two straight weekends in a row, I've been dragging her out doing sneaker pickups. And today she was going to make some Christmas cookies and do Christmas stuff and stay in the house because it's nasty out. I'm gonna drag her out to the mall to Snipes to pick up a pair that I hit on her raffle. Unfortunately, I input a lot of raffles and a lot of people's names. Everyone's in this house, I input their names. And I didn't win and she did. And she was like, I'm not going to pick it up. And I was like, okay, maybe I'll be able to get another pair. And uh, I did get another pair through finish line for the first time ever. But these things are going for like $400 or close to it right now. And I just want to get this pair and flip it real quick. So today it's gone. It's out of here. And I finally convinced her to go ahead with me to the mall to pick up this pair. She's not really happy at all. So, yeah, I had to come outside real quick before she came out uh, just to let you guys know what was going on. So we're going to go to King of Pressure Mall to Snipes. Uh, I think it's somewhere around, it's like 12 o'clock. We have until 3 o'clock to pick them up. And then we're going to get those shoes, bring them home, take a look at them. You know how we do. This is regular. This is what we do. So take this quiet ride down. And yeah, I got to make this up to her. Lucky Christmas is coming up next week. So I got to stop putting her name in for raffles because she's kind of done with it. I know I'm not the only one that does this and drags her family along to pick up these shoes. Uh, fortunately, like when Brandon hits, I put the mask on, I take his ID, and then I'll pick up the shoes. But for females, I can't put a wig on and then put a mask on because... No, I can't do that. So she got to come with me. I feel bad, but we got to get these belugas. It's three ninety five, something like that. It's crazy. So you can't just leave them sitting there for somebody else to grab. It's only 20 minutes away. Look at me trying to justify it. Let me go before I get in trouble. Guys, we're back at the mall and this is the most crowded I've ever seen. You know the deal. Different day, same line. Louis Vuitton. End up having to park a little bit further than I wanted to because I could have been like right outside here. It's so packed today. But there's the line for the leftovers. I refuse to let my pair go as a leftover. So I am happy that wifey came down, decided to pick these up for me. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and grab these and uh, get back out. Uh, Got to get her back home as fast as possible. You won't believe what happened. So Snipes did a raffle for two shoes at one time, the Belugas and then these black pair to come out like next week. It did hit, but we didn't hit for the Belugas. Unfortunately, we hit for the the shoes to come out, the black pair to come out next week. You know, got my wife down here for nothing. That sucks. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to come back on Tuesday to pick up that black pair, but that's for another day. But for now, just gonna head home. Guys, man, I goofed up. That really looks bad for your boy. Got my wife up out of the nice warm house, brought her out on this dreary day into a crowded mall she didn't want to go to. And then the shoe was not the shoe that I thought it was. It wasn't even releasing now. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's crazy, though. Uh, I, I owe it to her big time. I only got one pair of those belugas today. I did finally get my shipping confirmation from Finish Line. So yay, that's a win. I did want to have a pair in hand though. I wanted to show you guys. And also I wanted to quickly ditch them and flip them before people's pairs start coming in, you know, before the prices drop. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Today I lost just because I didn't read. Yeah, and then I had an issue with GOAT. Um, apparently I sent in a size 10 and a half and the order was for a size 10 um, shoe. I think it was the uh, Jordan Volts I was getting rid of. So I filmed every shoe that I uh, send out uh, to anyone, to go to individuals, uh, set up a camera, uh, and I filmed me packing the shoe up, the whole process. So I was able to go through the footage uh, of the shoe that I sent to GOAT, and I sent them a size 10 and a half, and the order was for size 10. It was clear as day on my video. I even showed the, uh, the order form on my video, and then I showed the shoe. And I'm like, you idiot. <laughs> you didn't even look at the size. But anyway, my mistake they're going to keep the pair i chose to for them to keep the pair and then just consign with them save me the money from them shipping them back so uh yeah i think the only thing that happens now is just i just get deducted 10 points as far as like the seller points but i have so many seller points at this point it really doesn't even matter um so i'm all good i mean those shoes will still sell eventually i still have them probably at one of the lowest asking price i am still trying to get rid of a lot of shoes i've been holding before the end of the year um 
And primarily, I'm trying to get rid of shoes that really aren't worth a lot of money because starting next year, 2022, you will get taxed sales over $600 uh, through like PayPal or uh, eBay or StockX or any place like that. So actually, hold up. I gotta, I'm got. i gonna finish that note in a second because I gotta sell a PlayStation. That's what's in the back right here. So uh, dude right here is about to buy a PlayStation. Then we'll finish that. All right, PlayStation is gone. Another happy customer. Now, what I was saying is if you sell more than $600 worth of items on like GOAT or StockX, or eBay, you're going to get a 1099 and you're going to have to pay taxes on it. Or you got to prove that, you know, you didn't really earn the amount of money that you earned. But who got time for that? So I'm going to really try to sell before the end of the year. I only got like two weeks left. A lot of the shoes that I really don't think are going to be worth it. Now I'm going to hold on to shoes that are just worth holding where it's going to overcome, you know, pay, even paying taxes on it. It's going to be worth it. Uh, but still, it's, it's probably like maybe 80 pairs of shoes that I'm trying to get rid of. So beastly underscore GT on Instagram. And I've been posting up stuff on my story, uh, shoes for sale. I'm usually selling them for my payout, which is usually gonna be less than what you pay if you went and tried to buy them off of go to StockX. So please hit me up. And uh, yeah, of course, retail pairs only. I only keep the other pairs for your boy's personal collection. That's it. It's Saturday, you know, hopefully wifey's not gonna be too mad at me. Probably gonna take a, an L on the ones that we hit the right pair because i don't think she's gonna go with me to pick them up so it is what it is i don't even care at this point so it's christmas i gotta make it up to her anyway like comment subscribe and i'm out of this joint guys enjoy your weekend <laughs>